With eyes full of wrath and fury, here comes Ilya Dragunov. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Moscow, Russia. Weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov. We have seen before what Dragunov is capable of, and it is scary. And this dude's been called the Unstoppable Czar. A title that he has earned due to his supreme physical conditioning. We've also learned that Ilya Dragunov has a volatile temper inside the ring. You're right, Byron. That's a trait that Dragunov has used to his advantage. Yeah, there is no putting out the fire that burns inside of Dragunov. Here comes the awe-inspiring, high-flying Hall of Famer. And his opponents, first from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam. He is, quite simply, the whole effing show. The definition of unorthodox style both in and out of the ring. His martial arts acumen is translated into quite the impressive, memorable sports entertainment career. We can only hope that RVD is about to make some more memorable moments here tonight. And here comes one of our favorites. And from Guadalajara, Mexico, weighing in at 208 pounds, a luchador bad deal. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. Stage buzzing. He is an exciting competitor to watch. And you've got to come into this triple threat with a different mindset than any other match. Well, contending with multiple opponents really makes you think in a cerebral manner. Do you focus on one opponent or wait for an opening and capitalize? Lots of ways to approach this fight. Step up, Senton. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Measured knee drop. Oh. Waiting for their fallen opponent. Uh-oh. Quick. Uh-oh. Oh, I able to counter. Oh, grip in the jaw. My goodness. That's insulting. Just going all out with every blow. He's been placed in the corner now. And that was a first-hand example of a dirty attack. And that holds RVD back. Suplex. He's turning the tables. Nice Japanese arm drag. 
Dragunov taking a step back and measuring his opponent. Getting back into the ring. Beautiful athleticism. If there's one match type that's all about knowing when to pick your spots, it's got to be the triple threat match. Being a smart competitor means biding your time, letting the other two superstars in the match tire themselves out and wear each other down. Then you just have to pick the bones like the in-ring genius you are. Honestly, sounds more like an in-ring scavenger, Corey, but still a smart strategy nonetheless. Boom! Knock him down. Ouch. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. And that right there is the intensity of Ilya Dragunov at work. No respect at all with that action. But it can also be meant to antagonize. Could be a method of luring your opponent into a mistake. And he gets the shoulder up before two. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. And he goes into the ring. the pen. Big forearm. Big blow could be felt throughout the arena. Getting set up for something in the corner. Powerbomb position. Throwing down punches and counters out. Boom. What a drop kick. On the mark. What a counter. Uh-oh. Stiff elbow will break that up. Dragging off, messing with him, clearly trying to force an error. Run! He's got his head no stick! Oh! Quick sidestep by Dragunov. Rolls through, super kick. Quick return to the ring. A running hurricane Rana. No! Oh no! Crashing hard! the floor. Brass decision making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. Ooh, sledgehammer to the body. This is not for the faint of heart. Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. Van Dam has just taken command. Yeah, RBD is firing on all cylinders. He foiled that attempt. No clue what he hopes to find down there. Dragunov clearly not afraid of firing his opponent up. He wants the fight, and he wants it now. Getting him into the corner. Oh, elbow caught him right on the bridge of the nose. Into There's the cover! Three, no! A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Escapes in a nick of time. Ooh. Hooked it, driven down hard with a Uranagi. And the knee. He's absorbing some tough hits now. After lasting this long in a triple threat, it'd be a shame to take a nosedive now. Fishing for something beneath the ring. If you're going to grab a kendo stick, you better be prepared to use it. Letting everyone know he's got full intent on using that kendo stick. Ah, oh, kendo stick right to the head. Steered clear of that. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. Oh, and Ilya turned. Hoist it up. Boom! Feast your eyes. And that can keep Dragunov down. Suplex! You can see the battle scars on their bodies, and they are telling an epic tale. These men are showing everyone the desire, the strength, and the will it takes to compete at this level. Oh, jeez, you might break a neck that way. And RVD being taken to task there. This should come as no surprise. In a havoc-filled triple threat, you're going to take some big hits. 
He has been here before, and he knows what he needs to do. Oh, oh what a drop kick. On the mark. What a drop kick. Well, you know, if there's one guy who isn't scared to fire up his opponent, it's RVD. Reversal catches RVD. Ooh, point of the elbow counters that. And gets tossed back into the mat. Sledgehammer hammer right to the gut. Oh, just trying to pound their opponent into the ground even further. One wicked attack after another. So many dangerous attacks, one after the other, making it difficult to regain any composure. Kendo stick to the skull. Van Dam is out of the way. His opponent is just overwhelming him here. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. Delivering the suplex. Sleeper holds cinched in and breaks out of the sleeper. And he tosses him back in now. Kendo stick impact. Sided back to the mat. This will get out the dive! Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Uh oh. The arms are hooked. Oh. Tiger suplex. And RVD landed at a critical time in this matchup. Still being able to take command at this stage says a lot about Van Dam. This arena has come unglued. You can feel the foundation shifting with every turn in the match. And he gets delivered back into the ring. And now thrown back into the ring. Ooh. Hoisting up their opponent. Wow, what a spotbuster. He thinks he has it. And there's the breakup just in the nick of time. Oh, no. Whoa, oh monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. Dangerous Hurricane Rana. Taking this outside. This could be good. And he throws Marco, dragging off the taste victory now. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. Whip back into the ring. Boom. Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. This is just brute power. What a German suplex. Saw that one coming. And he slides him back to the mat. Oh, what a kick to the face. Oh, my God. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Oh, sledgehammer to the midsection. 
distraction will knock the wind out of you. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. He's got his hands on the bat. One home run swing could end this match. charge here. This is just raw power. Period. End of the cutter. Oh no. Driving down with the sledgehammer. He moves just in time. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Up and over. Schoolboy pinning combination. Oh, maybe not. Continuing to work on the arm with a vicious knee drop. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? RVD grabs a chair. Pro tip, if he throws it at you, don't catch it. Beautiful athleticism. That's going to hurt. Kick to the lower back. All eyes focused. Uh oh. Oh no. Caleb driver. My goodness. Van Dam is just about to finish this. Staved out that attack. He's heading back to the ring. Hoist it up. Down the right. Tuck him in. It's bedtime. Lights out here. Oh, no, maybe not. And he breaks up the count. What a beautiful moonsault. Nice rolling Savak kick. Navajo warrior style. Continues. That's teamwork. Wicked kick to the face. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. RVD is getting in the zone now. He's itching for some competition here. And just an uncalled for underhanded attack there. One up. Uh oh. But right hands create separation and an escape. Gosh, what a match. It's the red, white, and blue Thunderbomb. Quick thinking from Dragunov. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Returning to the ring now. He eludes the contact. And some effective offense with that one. Stay down. 
pure instinct. RBD positioning their opponent, and now we see the magic. Split leg moonsault from RBD. Caught him with an elbow. All the way to the floor. Ilya Dragunov is just begging for a fight. Oh, man. Jawbreaker interrupts the attack. Tosses it back in now. Gun red suplex. Making it look easy. Big overhand. He got whipped into that corner. Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush. He climbs into the ring. Knife edge chop. Good lord, what a shot. Someone's got to get control of this thing. Back with a rebound. Overhead. Suplex. Setting up for something here. Hoist it up. Oh, and Suplex. I think the crowd knows what we're about to see. Driving a forearm into the jaw. Good night. He wants even more out of his opponent. Try to end it. He breaks up the pin, and Corey, the match continues. I love it. Drag it on out of harm's way. Boot to the stomach gives them separation. Oh, the old schoolboy! Oh, wait a minute. Suplex! And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. And what a maneuver we just saw there. And we just saw some serious offense. This is a very powerful powerbomb. Looking for a submission here. Rings of Saturn applied. Rings of Saturn. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to... Oh, this is just terrible to watch. He's in so much pain and can't do anything. What a hurricane. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Super kick in the face. <laughs> Boom, head first.
hoist it up. Boom! Feast your eyes. Goodness. Look what that did to RBD's face. Toss back into the ring. Waistlock go behind. Up and over with a German suplex. We're not finished yet. Another one. Oh, come on. Enough is enough. And continuing to punish their opponent with a German. Back into the ring. Nice Japanese on drag. Oh, man. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Across the shoulder, knee right to the face. German suplex. Amazing, Kevin. Cue that up again. Two. Gets the win. What a triple threat. Here is your winner, Aluxador. This triple threat victory, some would call it quite the Herculean feat. This was an unpredictable one, but when it was all said and done, only one man could be left standing. One man out of three. It was always bound to lead to a little chaos. Look who's here. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring at a combined weight of 460 pounds. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. Like something straight out of a comic book, here comes Axiom. The masked hero of WWE has arrived. And their opponents, first from Madrid, Spain, 
Weighing in at 154 pounds, Axiom. Axiom says he wants to be a symbol people can rally behind. Well, he's got the support of much of the WWE Universe already. A superb athlete, Axiom is ready to take his game to the next level. And right any wrongs he encounters along the way. Things are about to get good. And from California, weighing in at 172 pounds, Nick Jackson. I'm going to come right out and say it. Yes, this athlete takes great appreciation in their own in-ring performances, but it doesn't make them a bad person. Who says it does? But on that topic, they're not my cup of tea. Actually, a little more like a cup of raw sewage, if we're being perfectly honest. A competitor who does not know the meaning of the word quit. He is ready for battle. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Tag team action is now underway. The tag team match is a classic staple of this business. It's the ultimate test of teamwork and in-ring timing. Yeah, for partners to compete at a high level here, they have to form one truly exceptional unit, which is definitely easier said than done. Big forearm. Fails to connect on the springboard. Who saw that one coming? Took advantage. Hits him with the counter. Drives his opponent down with a Yurinagi. Catching a drop kick. Trying their opponent's arm out. Oh my goodness. Tag made, fresh man in. Ooh. What are we about to see? You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Oh, jaw shattering. Can he do it here? Stops the ref's count. These men knew this match is going to be hard fought. Jumping clothesline. What agility. Big clothesline. Oof, that can knock you out. Monkey flip. Clothesline. Well, that'll leave a mark. into a statement DDT. Oh, man. Oh, good grief. Turn your lights out. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Ooh. Soaring into the arm drag. Spectacular athleticism. And now a series of stomps and kicks. It did not look like Axiom had a solution for that problem. Directly to the face. Monkey flip. Backbreaker. 
There's the tag. Oh my God. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Wrist clutch applied. How humiliating, just kicks to the face. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Right to the face. My God. Close fist connects. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Caught with a punch. Axiom at the mercy of his opponent. Axiom now just trying to survive. Axiom reversing the momentum on him. He's trying to bring the fight back in this one. Shoulder tackle. And that one misses the mark. Forearm. Looking to apply an agonizing armbar stretch. Just stretching out the arm. Can't lift anyone at that shoulder. It keeps getting worked on. Oof. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Crushing knee strike. Ah, look at this. Ah, working on the arm. And Axiom got turned around there. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Oh, my. Discus punch. Grabbing a hold of the arm. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. Bang! Drop kick. And he gets set back into the ring. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Just pounding away at the neck already. Axiom at the mercy of his opponent. Axiom now just trying to survive. This is outright disrespectful. This could do it. in a second to stay alive there. Oh, ruthless striking. Clean tag for his partner. Standing Spanish fly, are you kidding me? Incredible. Punishing stretch. Comes in off the tag. Up on the shoulders, down in a hurry. He's lost some of his win now. Bam! Down he goes. Uh oh, double underhook. This is going to be nasty. Into a close line. He saw that one coming. Spy. Goal! He is doing whatever possible to torture the knee. Oof. Able to get there in time. Oh, draw kick. Oh, did you hear that? Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara armbar. Oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyperextend your elbow. German suplex. Tag is registered. Flip. Oh, ouch. Oh, my. He's struggling a bit here. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Ah, oh, kick right in the face. Tagged into action. 
Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Both wrists captured and oh. in this series of reversals. submission and if i'm in the tag division i'm hoping with all my heart i don't come across these two in the future Oh, 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 are you guys ready? The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from California, weighing in at 172 pounds. And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE. Could change the entire landscape here. Let's go! He is physically and mentally prepared for the task at hand in this big time match. Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa. This is DIY. And his opponent, accompanied by Tommaso Ciampa, representing DIY from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. Gargano and Ciampa back together again. It's so great seeing DIY reuniting and getting things done. 
And they look focused on getting back on top. Johnny Wrestling is all about taking the fight to whoever is in front of him. No one has desire like Gargano. Gargano is known for doing the incredible, and he'll continue to throw down until his rebel heart's got nothing left. Any competitor who is going to lock up with Gargano needs to be ready to get hit with anything. Here comes Johnny. But he'll be facing someone who has been looking for a challenging fight for quite some time now. Hopefully, he'll get it tonight. And he sends him into the corner. A well-timed dodge. Stop in the leg. Really just laying it in. Oh, the leg sweep, and now into the... He's in deep, deep trouble here. Well, maybe not. Able to slip out of things in a couple of... A Hands right to the mouth. Oh, trying to dislocate the shoulder. This could be it. Cover. The pin doesn't even last to a count of one. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. And the second row. Enziguri. He could do it here. He's able to kick out before two. Not getting the two at this point has got to say something. He has him right where he wants him. Gargano, known for his never-say-die approach. When that bell rings, it takes a heck of a lot to keep this young man down. But, Corey, do you think there's anything else Gargano needs to do here to help ensure victory? Cole, you hit the nail right on the head when you mentioned that never-say-die attitude. However, Gargano is also about as short as they come in the ring. That attitude plus the in-ring IQ equals success for Johnny Wrestling. Not exactly an inspiring look for Johnny after that. to win. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Being carried around with ease. Oh! Driven face first into the apron. There is nothing but malicious intent when you deal damage out on the apron. Oh, the wind just knocked right out with that. Oh, look out. It's on now. Oof. And Gargano gets beat to the punch. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. Boom! He reverses it. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. Kick to the gut. Now kick to the back. Just punishing their opponent from every angle possible. Now locking in the wrist. Capped off with a knee to the spine. Gorgano keeps him at bay. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Into the corner now, setting him up for something here. Shoved all the way to the outside. And it has got to be demoralizing just being tossed outside the ring like that. Oh, they can worry about their feelings later. Right now, they're making sure every bone's still in place. Oh, what a counter. Fighting back, however, punches in the midsection. 
thrown back in under the ropes. Into the cover. Manages to escape before the three count. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Hit the ropes. Oh, what a knee strike. Gargano is finding himself at a disadvantage. Johnny's got to start reversing his fortunes. Sends the knee to the face. That'll stop you. Snapmare takedown. There's a roll through. Super kick in the face. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. There's Gargano with a counter. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. Stomping straight down on the arm. Brutal stomp to the body. And just getting started. Look at this brutality. This is how you torture your opponent. Oh my God, this is hard to watch. No love lost between these superstars right now, really trying to prove who the better man truly is. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Oh my! Inflicting pain at will. And it's a double count out. Not the way we wanted to see this. The WWE Universe just exploded! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 234 pounds. One half of the Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Brody King! The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is going to be good.
Word is that the champ was actually asking for this to be a title match, but the officials backstage wouldn't allow it. That is how competitive he is. The voice of the voiceless has returned. forget the night of Punk's historic return. But now, Punk must prove himself. Says he's now home, but many competitors have said this is no longer his home. Punk has never been more focused. He's now down to business, and he wants to rewrite his legacy and write a whole new chapter in the WWE. Punk possesses a lethal combination of fighting styles, and he's going to need it tonight. Yeah, no doubt about it. Punk is always ready for a fight, and he proclaims he is the measuring stick until someone proves him otherwise. And here's a champion who's turned a lot of heads. Holding a title will do that for you. Whether you're defending the gold or not, there's always extra eyes on the champ. Quick. Face first. Oh, set. And the ropes break this one up. Great ring awareness there. Turns that back on CM Punk. Oh, look at this combination of strikes. Fake strikes. Both wrists captured and man, knee strike. Vicious right forearm. Oh, CM Punk stopped that in its tracks. Uh-oh. A slingshot cross. Throwing all costs into the wind and leaping to the outside. The ultimate sign of disrespect. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyperextend your elbow. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Just breaking down the opponent. Ooh. CM Punk so resilient when he's inside that ring. Corey, how can an opponent counter that resilience of Punk's? Some would also call that stubborn, Cole. It's not enough to just throw your best at Punk. You have to break his will, extinguish that fire inside of him. And he gets delivered back into the ring. He is delivering elbow after elbow. the knee. Boots up. And shoulders are down. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of it. Bruising attack to the stomach. And that can end up putting CM Punk on shaky legs for a bit. Playing possum. Shoulders down. Way. Oh, God, knee meets face. Oh, the knee just being torn apart now. CM Punk is in a distressing spot. And he's been throwing his best at Punk and then some, trying to break Punk's will. It's a revolving door of forearms. I didn't think things had gotten this heated between them. Byron, this feels like it's close to going nuclear. Tick, tick, boom. 
Look out! High wrist, cross body! That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weapon. Hulk plants him with a Uranagi. Seamless transition into the Anaconda Vice. This won't win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the process. And he may have felt his grip slipping, so he releases the hold. Still was able to produce some considerable damage, though. Set straight into the barricade. Saw that one coming. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Ooh, brutal body shot. Ooh, what a calf kick. The end is looming now. He can really stand to get back as good as he's getting right about now. Bob hoisting up his opponent, looking to finish him here. GTS connects. It's all over, but the count. Cover. Trash! But he got attacked! He's gonna pay for it. Three on one. Ugh. This is an ugly, ugly scene. Here comes a truly vicious superstar. And Drew Gulak isn't here to play nice. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. Drew Gulak ready to tie the competition up in knots. Drew Gulak is highly skilled. Probably simulated this match in WWE 2K a dozen times already. Well, it's just called analyzing the angles and having a plan in mind. And here he comes. And his partner from Albany, New York, weighing in at 200 pounds, Bobby Fischer. This superstar has a lot of confidence, a lot of pride, but there's also a lot of respect for their opposition tonight. No, oh, I get it. Great mind games at work. No, Corey, just respect. Oh, so this superstar is just an idiot. Got it.
He calls himself the standard bearer of this division and plans on proving it in a matter of moments. They are ready for a fight. to tag team action and the WWE Universe is ready for it. The WWE Tag Team Division is more competitive than ever. As these two teams get into it, I can almost guarantee this match will be one to remember. The standards for tag team action just keep getting higher and higher around here. Northern right suplex. He gets tagged in. Uh, off the rope. Cinches up the arm in a series of boots. Practically never-ending blows coming at full force here. Shifts it back onto him. Placed into the corner. Countered it just in time. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. And a Oof. stomp to the gut, too. Knew what was coming there. Great reversal. Oh, stop, stop, stop. And the forearm smash. Counters that. Hit the ropes. Brutal knee to the side of the face. Oh, vicious running knee lift. Ooh. Bam. Oh, look at the impact here. Boom. Pummeling the chest of their opponent. This is brutal. My goodness. Just no Proving a bit slippery for them there. Face, meat floor. I think I see a few teeth on the floor.
I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Yes, tag! Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Gulak with a resolve in his eyes now. No thanks to the WWE Universe. The Temple's being made a target. Caught him with a big boot. On the mark. Oh, and he goes for the pin. And he gets his shoulder up before the count. Don't know how he can't get more than a one count at this point. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Oh, and back of the elbow. There's a tag. Scooped up. Fall away slam with the bridge. Caught with a big boot. On the mark. He finds a counter for Gulak. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 Max no. Back suplex. Back suplex on the apron. You don't aim for the apron unless you're looking to do some serious damage. That shot on Gulak did not oh. miss. Two. Oh. Three. Able to give him the slip. Thrown back in under the ropes. Turns it around. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Big time. Shoulders down. This could be it. And he manages to kick out in one. He's not even close to being done yet. Makes him pay with a counter. Measuring. Oh, face stop. Oh, that was just malicious. Just disrespectful. Making a mockery of your opponent could eventually backfire. And the forearm smash. They are fading off the WWE fans, now pinning the arm down and delivering nasty stops. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Drew Gulak, Jokoplex. It could be over here. This is it. And they're still in this. Drew Gulak to Gulak. Drew Gulak with a gulag to submission locked in. It's not embarrassing to tap out. Oh, rolls through, nice escape. Gulag sidesteps. <laughs> a defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Quick exchange of counters there.
It's not the prettiest, most honorable, or even the most fun way to win, but hey, countouts happen. Finn Balor has arrived. Say hello to the Prince of Judgment. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. A man with amazing high-flying skills, unmatched stamina, and a physique carved out of marble. It's good to be the prince. I find it amusing, Corey, that despite all those gifts you mentioned, he still requires constant backup in the form of the Judgment Day. Is it Balor's fault that so many competitors want to sit under the learning tree of one of the greatest competitors of this generation? If you ask me, he's not teaching them the right lessons. He's got all the skill in the world, but the Judgment Day never plays by the rules. All you need to see are the titles. The main events, the accolades earned by the Judgment Day. Balor's teaching all the right lessons, and the Judgment Day has executed them to perfection. It is time to bow to the prince or face his judgment. Here comes Big Bronson Reed. And his opponent from Black Forest, South Australia, weighing in at 330 pounds. Bronson Reed! Bronson Reed tips the scales at over 330 pounds, but is the agility of a man half his size. Though when that tsunami comes crashing down, you'll know you ain't facing a cruiserweight. Bronson Reed is indeed ready for war. I have a feeling we're just moments away from another jaw-dropping, pardon me, Stu, and Reed in the ring, the master of so-called Australian strong style. It's an all-out approach that has paid dividends for Reed so far. One massive blow from big Bronson Reed is enough to put just about any superstar on spaghetti legs. We'll see if that smash mouth approach helps Reed topple the opposition here tonight. His opponent, of course, is an ultra aggressive. He's got him down. Is this it? He gets the shoulder up at two. 
This could be a tipping point in this match. And the boom! And Reed fends that off. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. And now Reed is under immense pressure. Can Reed withstand this surge? And perhaps Reed's confidence just got a bit shaken. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Oh, well scouted by Reed. And Bronson puts a quick stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. Bronson was getting grinded down, but could have just started a quick turnaround here. Oh, using the rope to their advantage. Attacking the arm. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. And a basement drop kick. Headed to the top rope. Taking flight. Moved out of the way. Nobody home. Things seem to be escalating between them. Yeah, Michael, what started as a disagreement looks like it has turned into bad blood. a response against Finn. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? There he goes, right into the corner. Climbing up top. He's got big plans. To the sky. Whoa, look out. From ring post to ring side, risking it all paid off. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Might be the start of Balor turning up the heat. Brought down with a DDT. He's able to sidestep there. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Thunderous power bomb. Absolutely crushing display of power from the big Aussie. Uh-oh. Finn able to get out of the way. It's over, and Finn Balor is your winner. Here is your winner, Finn Balor. And with the ref's count, this match has ended. This match ending by countout is not satisfying to the WWE Universe. I think they may demand a rematch. Take a look at an athlete who exists on a level unto himself. Seth Rollins is a fighter, a survivor, and he is on a quest for greatness. And the WWE Universe is singing his praises. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. 
making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at Wait 217 pounds. What do they think they're doing? Sad. Oh, come on, Cole. Three you know exactly ten. what they're doing, and it's brilliant. Highly anticipated matchup. The competitors in this one have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. Oh, that was ugly. Catching the competition completely unprepared. Didn't even see it coming. Some mental chess here from Rollins. <laughs> Seth Rollins, Eric. Referee signals for the bell, and we are finally underway. These superstars are seeing red right now, gentlemen. He turns it around on Roberts. Nice. Snapmare. Oh, man, a face scrape with his boot. I hate to say it, but you have to think Rollins' worst enemy in this match might ultimately be himself. No, I absolutely agree. Rollins goes in expecting victory, and when it doesn't come easily, he tends to get sloppy. My advice to him, don't get caught in your own head. And an inverted atomic drop. He's returning fire. Slight blade. Talk about dismantling your opponent. He didn't need that eyebrow anyway. Ooh, knee right to the spine. Make your legs go numb. Guys, I can't think of a worse place for him to be right now. This Move is... over, Byron. Let a professional call this one, because this is going to be nasty. <laughs> and will this be it? Just kicks out. Close call. That was almost lights out. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Jake just getting knocked around. Rollins keeping a level head, not expecting victory to just fall into his lap. Oh, to the arm. Terrible. Rollins' master plan got stopped in its tracks by that attack. Yeah, watching the snake aggressively work the opposition. So much damage inflicted. The snake with the arm ringer. Short clothesline. And fear has to be rising in his opponent with a devastating move. Shake the snake. We know what's next. DDT. Is there any fight left in Rollins? Makes the cover. No, he gets the shoulder up. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? And Roberts is taking control in this match. Yeah, Roberts is really grinding the 
opposition down. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Now Rollins looking for some momentum. Seth weathered the storm and wants to create a flurry of his own. Four. Rollins making perfectly clear who the visionary is in this match. Push! Trading back and forth blows now. Rollins with a reversal. And another counter. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. Looks like a hockey fight just broken up. Slugging away with everything they've got. Boom. Rollins just a step too slow. Oh, man. Rollins looking to end it. Right to the back of the neck. Jake is bleeding profusely now. For sure. How close was that? That was about as close as it could get without it all being over for him. And oh, what Rollins! That one fails to land. Missed the mark. He had it scouted. Oh, oh, that's 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 line. It's cinched in. This could be over. I think he's got it locked in. We're gonna free the arm and does just that. Just tearing away on the shoulder here. Body slam slipped out. Inverted DDT connects. <laughs> Apparently, this match needed a mud hole. Ah, oh, barbaric amount of stomps. Telegraph that one and delivers a blow to the gut. hit with an unintentional shot there. Like a heat-seeking missile hit the target right on the mark. Oh, impressive counter. Tough position to be caught in here. Ooh, right to the throat. Seth Rollins needs to rethink his strategy because what he's doing now isn't working. Not what you want to see by any means. Rollins lining it up. Here it comes. Stop. Rollins just turned the lights out. The cover. Win. Wow, he's going to celebrate all night long. Here is your winner. A victory here in this one for Seth Rollins. When you're Seth freaking Rollins, you expect a certain amount of success like this. All in a day's work for the visionary.
I got a feeling this match is gonna be too sweet. You should never do that again because these two are Japanese legends continuing a legacy in WWE. The following is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied by Michi, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. We all know the OC loves to have a good time, but the one thing they might love even more is getting into a good old fashioned fight. Yeah, they brawled all over the world and sometimes with each other. The OC never sleeps on a good fight. The OC looking ready to get to work. Get to work in that ring and then get into a few cold ones after all said and done. That is the OC way. Oh yeah, I am pumped for this guy. And his partner from Guadalajara, Mexico, weighing in at 208 pounds. A luchador, Paragon Zero M. The moment this match was announced, the WWE Universe has expected a classic. I think it is destined to deliver. Look at the focus and drive in his eyes. Ready to prove he's the best this division has to offer. The American Nightmare is here. The son of a son of a plumber looking to continue the Rhodes legacy. with the form that Cody Rhodes has taken. He's become a leader, a mentor, and a main eventer. Those are all great things to be, Saxton, but we all know what Cody truly wants to be more than anything else. He's a world champion. Hard times and perseverance, Cody Rhodes embodies them all. All in the name of finishing the story that has eluded his father. Cody seems dead set on reaching the pinnacle in the name of the Rhodes family. The Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre has arrived and a fight is about to start. We have learned that wherever McIntyre goes, brutality follows. 
Right now, it is McIntyre who is leading the WWE Universe into battle. There is no getting between Drew McIntyre and his goals. Whether the WWE Universe supports him or not, Drew will stay on the top of the food chain in WWE. Drew McIntyre has an unparalleled focus, refuses to let the outside noise get to him. Yeah, as clear-headed as a superstar can be, which only makes him even more dangerous. Finally, all superstars make it to the ring and we are officially underway. Now, the way this match started, I can't wait to see where it goes from here. He skirts around it. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. for Cody Rhodes. Flying. Beautiful dive. Uh-oh. There's the backbreaker. Right across the chest. It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan about now. Clearly waiting for that. He's burying elbows in the midsection. but for how much longer? He's hit off the tag. He's got it. Oh, ho, ho. let's get it on. He went right into that turnbuckle. Big knee to the midsection. Oof. Jarring impact. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Crank in the head. There's the switch. Drew McIntyre's in. Up and over. Oh, what a kick. He can end it here. No, he pops the shoulder before three. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. He's one step ahead there. Dropping the knee for more punishment. Into the corner. This can't be good. No! Nasty kick from McIntyre. He's looking a little off balance. Oh, what a close line. Uh-oh. Great presence of mind by McIntyre. Into the cover. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Short clothesline hits its mark. Gets the tag. Oh, man. Across the top rope, all the way to the floor. Schoolboy, no. Nope. 
opponent right here. And he kicks out at two. That was a long two count there. Waiting for it. This one. Oh! Finds the mark. Cody's eyes look glazed over. He stops the count for his partner. Hooked up. Great power. Inverted suplex. Cody possibly realizing his opponent might be just as dangerous as he is. Oh, God. Terrible position to be in there. AJ stop. Uh-oh. Rhodes denies the attack. Oh, oh. Close line to the back of the neck. Well-placed elbow to break up the maneuver. One response after another. Back and forth we go. For the final cut. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. Into a chop block. Don't snap suplex so quick. And the cut for the win. This is it. Breaks the close count. Almost inhuman at this point. Here's a tag. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. He's looking a little weary now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Shutting that down with the back elbow. Uh-oh, pump handle applied. What's coming next? Harrison Driver. Amazing execution. Two. That'll do it. The victory tonight. Here are your winners, AJ Styles and Hanushador Paragon Zero M. Tag team chemistry in full effect with these two superstars. For my money, these two just might be the best tag team on the roster today. Things are about to get just too sweet. The OC is here and ready to have each other's backs. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 505 pounds, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, the OC. The most dominant club in the world, marching towards the pinnacle of their collective careers. 
You can see the look of intensity on their faces already. The fun and games are over. I am not envious of their opponents at all. They're in store for an old-fashioned butt-whooping, guys. The raid has arrived. And their opponents at a combined weight of 552 pounds, Ivar and Eric, the Viking Raiders. The raid has begun. The modern day Vikings are here to pillage the competition. Looking hungry tonight. Hungry and scary. Action has made it back to the ring, and we can officially start this match. Oh, man. Yeah, the refs got their hands full in this one. Oh, atomic drop! Drop kick on target. Focused all their aim to the knee area with great effect. Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Sharp clothesline. Ah, oh, look at this, just cranking it out. Cranking the head. That's oh, what no. they call me, the hot shot. He takes control. Oh, oh, man. Man. That's going to hurt. In off the tag. Set up in the corner of the ring. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. This their opponent's uh -oh. legend. Uh -oh. That's a free fall. Great reaction from Ibar. And Gallows expected that. And tag. He did it. Let's go. Devastating kick. Uh-oh. Elbow drop. Elbow drop with authority. Oh, anus knee to the face. And he denies Ibar. Knee strike! I don't think Ivar enjoyed taking that attack head on. Yeah, a truly savvy maneuver from Carl Anderson. Boom, what impact! Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Here he comes off the tag. Wait a second, wait a second! Power in the impact! The German suplex. There's two. The end was in sight. In the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Gotta hurt. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. Big back body drop. One elevation. He's got him scouted. that attack off. Oh, ruthless striking. Oh, hip drop. And Viking Raiders just got some of that berserker turned against them there. Quickly, the cover. I didn't think this match was close to over. Oh, my God. The apron. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad. On the apron. The hardest. 
worst part of the ring. That was worse than being hit by a cinder block. Held in a perilous position. Oh, no! Face first into the post! Toss back into the ring. Like that opened Gallows right up. Close line. Now well, that'll do some serious damage. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. Gets tagged in. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. This has got to be one of the most knockdown, drag out progressions of a rivalry we've ever witnessed. Yeah, Byron, it's hard to recall the last time we saw something with this level of animosity take place. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Bad predicament right here. can consider this raid a success. They say when you know, you know. And I know there's no tag team on the roster that can touch these two guys.